The US and allies issue joint declaration on support for Ukraine. Opening of the 21st session of the Nagi and Provincial People's Council, Term 18. Private label brands stimulate the production and consumption of Vietnamese goods. Hello everyone, you are watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Dan, let's get started. At the NATO summit in Washington, the US and its allies issued a joint statement on helping to strengthen Ukraine's air defense capabilities. The statement was made by U.S. President Joe Biden, in which he stated that the U.S. and at least nine other NATO allies, including the Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and Romania, have committed to providing Ukraine with strategic air defense systems, including Patriot missile launchers provided by the U.S., Germany, and Romania, components of the Dutch Patriot air defense system, and an Italian SAMPT air defense system. In the coming months, Canada, Norway, Spain, and the UK will also provide dozens of additional tactical air defense systems to Ukraine to help Kyiv bolster its capabilities against Russian attacks. However, there is no specific timeline yet for when Ukraine will receive these weapons. The Spanish national team has booked their place in the Euro 2024 final after defeating France 2-1 in the semi-final match at the Allianz Arena. This is also Spain's sixth consecutive win in the tournament this year, the thing no other team has achieved in Euro history. Lamine Yamal and Dani Olmo continued to shine in this year's competition, bringing the victory home for the Spanish national team. Advancing straight to the final, the opponent of coach Luis de la Fuente's team will be the winner of the semi-final match between the Netherlands and England, to be played in the early morning of July 11. Spain is only one match away from equaling the record of four Euro Championship titles. The final match will take place at the Olympia Stadium on July 15. This morning, the 18th Nguyen Provincial People's Council term 2021 to 2026 began the 21st working session, the regular mid-year session of 2024. The 21st session will be held over two days, July 10th and July 11th. In the program, the Provincial People's Council will hear reports on the socio-economic situation in the first six months of 2024, tasks for the last six months of 2024, the activities of the Provincial Fatherland Front in building the government, opinions and petitions of voters and the people in the province, proposals and recommendations to the Provincial People's Council and Provincial People's Committee on necessary issues and some other contents. The Provincial People's Council will also conduct group discussions and discussions in in the plenary session. The question and answer session on July 11th will focus on two groups of issues in the fields of home affairs and industry and trade. In addition, it will also expand on content related to the economy, culture, society, national defense, security, foreign affairs, etc. At this session, the Provincial People's Council is expected to consider and approve 26 draft resolutions. Coming up next are some updated news. Over the past decades, the decline in fertility rate in Vietnam has been strong, from 6.5 children per woman in the 1960s to 2.05 children per woman in 2020. With the current fertility rate, Vietnam's population is forecast to peak at 107 million in 2044, then gradually decline to 72 million by 2100. In order to maintain the replacement fertility rate and regulate the birth rate appropriately to ensure the population size, the Ministry of Health proposes to grant couples the right to decide the timing, birth spacing and number of children, ensuring compatibility with their health and income conditions. Accordingly, employers have the responsibility to create conditions for employees to access population and family planning information and services appropriate to their work environment. The law on road traffic order and safety, passed by the National Assembly, stipulates that motorcycles will have to undergo emissions testing, and this law will take effect from 1 January 2025. 
However, the implementation of emissions testing for all motorcycles will be carried out according to the roadmap to be regulated by the government, not as of the 1st of January 2025. Specifically, according to Nguyen Tuan, Deputy Director of the Vietnam Registrations Department, the roadmap for motorcycle emissions testing will be implemented in accordance with the Environmental Protection Law. Emissions testing for motorbikes and mopeds will only be carried out at inspection facilities that meet the national technical regulations. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment will be the lead agency, coordinating with the Ministry of Transport to develop and submit to the government for issuance of a decision on the implementation roadmap. According to the 2024 Expat Insider Report, one of the world's largest surveys of expatriates conducted by the Internations Organization, Vietnam is the most affordable country in the world for foreigners ranking first out of 53 destinations when it comes to personal finance. This is the fourth consecutive year that Vietnam has topped this criterion. Additionally, Vietnam ranks 40th in terms of quality of life, 29th in essential factors for foreigners, digital life, housing, language, and 14th in work-related conditions for foreigners, career prospects, salary, and benefits. Supermarkets have long developed private label brands, but this model expanded significantly post-COVID-19. This expansion offers consumers more choices, reasonable prices and quality products, while also boosting the production of Vietnamese goods. Private label brands are products that carry the brand of the distributors, but are manufactured by producers selected by the retailers. This is an inevitable trend in the retail industry for development. The focus is mainly on product categories such as groceries, food and beverage, household goods, and apparel. The high sales growth is primarily concentrated in essential goods, mass market products, and the middle range segment to serve the daily living needs of consumers. Private brand labels guarantee the origin of the products. Customers also really love them and give very positive feedback on the quality. In reality, these products are priced lower than the branded items, yet the quality is equivalent. This is because the supermarket has the advantage of the distribution channel, so they don't have to incur advertising costs like the manufacturing companies. Additionally, the retailer understands the customer preferences, consumption trends, and spending levels, so they can produce items that cater well to the market demands. As a consumer, the first thing I care about is the product quality. The production of private label brands ACTS is a catalyst that forces companies to continuously innovate in terms of design, style, and improve product quality. Private label goods are believed to help consumers choose products that meet their needs without having to pay for brand values that they do not truly consume. This is the end of the show today. Thank you for watching.